Wendy Lowe, and I'm excited to journey with you as we learn how to take your health back. We are coming to you live from my home, office in Makiki, and from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii, which is located in downtown Honolulu. I would like to share with you that I was so honored to receive the Host of the Year Award for 2020 from Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo once again to Jay Fidel and Carol for this honor, and much mahalos to the staff Eric, Melissa, and Haley, as we couldn't have done it without your professionalism. We are so honored that every week we get to work with you. Uh, it's, just, it's just a pleasure. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Today is my last show for 2020, and what a year this has been. 2020 has been a year of challenges and new experiences, but with anything, new challenges always are good because they bring growth. And from growth, we grow. Is that right? So we all have to teach ourselves to so always find the positive in whatever we're doing daily. Today, I'd like to welcome a very special friend, a sister in Christ, and a friend to many around the world. Her name is Melvin Lee, and she has a heart to be shared through her gift of music. With all the challenges for many, Melvin has come to our rescue by taking us all away on a musical journey which she themes weekly. And now till Christmas, she celebrates with us daily at 6 p.m. on Facebook. So tune in if you haven't already. So now I'd like to introduce to you my dearest friend, Melvin Lead. Welcome, Melvin. Aloha, Wendy. Hi, everybody. Aloha. And you know, us guys, when we get together, oh, I tell you, this 30 minute show, boom, pow. So, mm -hmm. We got to stay on track. Lots to hear and hear, uh, hear from you and about you. So let's get started. Please share with us a little bit about your ohana, your pride and your joy. You know, I have a wonderful daughter and, and two grandchildren. And of course, a nice, a beautiful son, a great son-in-law. And they are so talented. And uh, many years ago, before I ever even got into this position of having, being a parent, you know, I've cared for many, many children, you know, before and also uh, parented them and learned a lot. So by the time I had my own daughter, I was, it was perfect. <laughs> wow. So you went practice on everybody else's kiki, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you have perfection at its best, right? So Kalana is very blessed to have you as a mummy. So <laughs> I also know that you have a soulmate that inspires you daily. Please share a little bit about him. Are you talking about God? <laughs> <laughs> yes, one and foremost, but the one here on earth. That's my husband. Yes, my husband. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there you go. Aloha, Mike. <laughs> his name is on my picture, and not Mike Lee. His. That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so tell us about your soulmate. Tell us a little bit about Mike. He brought me me into a different light, uh, and I brought him in another light also. Yes, uh, we we both did for each other. We're, we're very good for each other, and we really believe that God brought us together. Really, because and I, I was always going on on being married anymore, you know. And then he just waltzed into my life, you know, mm -hmm. and he just fit like a puzzle. Everything, <clears throat> oh, it's unbelievable. Yes, and together you continue to make music. He helps you. He's there to support oh, you, and you, you know, love him, and you're his soulmate as well. So I see a, a truly a blessed uh, reunion or a union that God has blessed you both with. So I'm not only do I have you as a dear sister friend, but I also have him as a brother friend too. Because wherever I, there's Melvin, there's Mike. <laughs> I even got him to pray with me, which is something oh, he never did before. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Well, he, I'm sure he prayed because he prayed and you were the answer. And I know that. So no, no, take all the credit for that, girlfriend. <laughs> okay. So the world knows your voice and that you are truly an artist. I also know that you have other art, uh, artistic talents. Please share with us a little bit about your print work. My print? You mean, oh, my artwork? Yes, your artwork. Oh, yes. Uh, I work uh, when I did it actually with pen and ink before and with lines yeah mm -hmm. and, and it was i never took lessons or anything but i see it in my mind and there's yes. one yeah that's one of them 
right? And it's beautiful. I, I don't look at any picture to draw something like that. I just, you know, it comes to my mind. And, uh, and, and I pray when I do these things. Anything I do with my hands, I pray. Right. Right. And it, well, that's prayer in motion and uh, prayer on print because it's truly beautiful. You know, I've been to many events where you donate some of your prints to the cause and I, I take the time to look at everything. And every one of those lines, I know it's like your heart being drawn on paper. That's yeah. just how you do. Um, that's exactly what you do. You, when you sing, you sing from your heart. You have a voice of your heart and you share that with the world. And so for that, you know, um, I'm so blessed. We're all so blessed that you don't just contain it. You share it and you will continue to share it as long as God allows this. Yes, so we exactly. are so blessed. Like I for said, I'll sing until I can sing no more for the world. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And if anyone hasn't noticed yet, um, I have <laughs> one of the specials here. You also are a bling artist. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go on Christmas one. Yeah. Oh, what these are the kind that you put on your glass when you go to a party and you put so that you'll know it's your glass yes these little identity things uh i got them all from a terry kakazu shop you know and i just oh, said nice I got all of that and i said i bought it all and i said uh, i'm gonna oh she gave it to me actually practically wow mahalo uh hasser right hasser wine and company yes her wine and company i just love terry she's a sweetheart talk about yes good. generous yeah. too look at that so I know that you spent a lot of time at home doing, especially these last few months. And I know you know can stay still. So I know that you're creating and you're blinging and I mean, everything you do, everything also, you do. I'm also knitting by the way. And I made uh, about eight, eight uh, scarves already for my friends on the mainland that are freezing. I so know. I send it to them, you know. And so. some of them have very special and royal colors. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna show you. Because uh -oh. mine is right here. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. See, mine is right here, right by my desk. I usually have it in the back of my chair, but I had to take it down. But this is my royal um, scarf that Melvin also took the time with every every little crochet, uh, knit stitch. She has put her love in here. So I put it very close to me right here on my, uh, my, my, my bedside. Uh, so okay. thank you for that, too. Amazing. What can't you do, Melvin? Uh, let me see. What can I do? I can't be Wendy. <laughs> no one easy, easy. <laughs> Just go drive Miley, and you'll be Wendy. <laughs> Alrighty. So, Melvin, I know that you have a heart of gold, and that you feel the pain of so many. I mean, many times we get on the phone, and you get another call, and when you come back, you're all teary eyed, and your heart is all just like it, a thousand pounds just landed on your heart because you are so emotional. You feel the pain of everyone, everything around us. And I think for yourself, you know, I just thought about it. I know you sing to heal others, but I know it's a healing process for yourself. So, yeah. you know, you knew that your voice is healing and that you could change the course of a day by just singing to all of us. You knew that, right? And so is that why um, you started to sing to us weekly especially on Saturday, on Sundays from you started about 11 o'clock and you go till forever. Tell us yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is not only this, I sing for people that can't uh, come to my shows, you know, that's why I opened it up worldwide. And before this, I used to years ago at the Alamana hotel, I had a telephone installed on my stage. Mm. I, 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 what remember. I, during the day, I'd call all the different hospitals to see who the terminally ill patients were. And I never met them or anything, but I'd sing to them and have my audience say hello to them. And then next morning, I'd go and visit to see who I was singing to. You know, so that kind of stayed with me. I still do it. I still call people. And, and if there's somebody, I said, just tell me who if you want me to sing for them. And I do. If not, I'll just get one of my old friends and I'll just call them and I'll sing to them. If it's their birthday, if they're sick, they're not feeling well, to lift up their spirits. And that's what God gave you this voice for. It's a gift. Yes, and he, he gave you a beautiful voice, and he's also given you a great sense of discernment and a, a mouth that you truly use. And I'm going to say, make a segue into this. I remember um, when my husband passed away, and I wanted you, I asked you if you could sing Kanaka Bai Bai, and you said, Wendy, of course I would sing that. And I said, and can you sing this? And can you sing that? And can you sing that? And you said, hey, Wendy, 
it's a funeral, not concert. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that was the greatest thing you could tell me. Like, get a grip, girl. Get a grip, you know, okay? <laughs> so I'll honor you, I'll honor your husband with Kanaka Bye Bye. And that was exactly what you did for us. And I tell you, um, those are that's just a song that I always need to hear from you. Um, just the verbiage and coming from your heart put together. Uh, just to, it even got to a point where all these funeral parlors, they all know me. <laughs> all the funeral directors, and I tell them, some of them, I'd say, hey, you must better get a UPA system. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You tell them, girl. You tell them. If you want me here. <laughs> <laughs> and so I know that you sing every Sunday for all of us and I try to tune in whenever I'm uh, near to my phone or my computer and it just brings it warms my heart and I see people from all over the world like you mentioned but yeah. now I know that you are singing to us daily at 6 pop up, PM, pop right? up many concerts it's pop up many pop concerts. Up concerts yeah but you know I know that your heart is to get us through Christmas Yes. You know, and uh, just to put that Christmas back in because you want to, you're touching us with your heart and your music when we can't actually physically hug each other. You're hugging us with that music. So I just want to mahalo you for that. You get all festively dressed, you blinged up, you've got the spirit going, and then the music comes, and it just is um, a great way to end the day, I should say. So we're. And I, we're, and I do a different theme every Sunday, you know. Yes theme yeah to get everybody in the mood yeah i know and what a theme and and then you ask in advance does anyone have any request that uh -huh. you could sing for them and i'm like wow and people respond and, and yet you got to fulfill all those requests because not just one or two everybody all around the world is like hey i want this hey i want that so <laughs> amazing and you acknowledge them and they feel your love and you know that's why you know, everyone just looks so forward to it daily. Before it was weekly, but now it's daily. So I'm, we're just blessed. So thank you so much, Melvin, for this dear, your gift and sharing your gift. So I know, um, uh, was it a week or so ago, um, your gift of song is not just vocalizing, but I know that Keoku has also given you a gift to receive the word in your dreams or in your daily walk. And he speaks through you. So yes. I was so honored when a few Saturdays ago, like about 6.30 in the evening, you called me and you said, oh, I heard the voice. The voice gave me the words. It was Friday night, the night before. And he spoke to you and you woke up and you put this, the words, your heart to music. Yes. And then it was not even 24 hours later and you're, you've got a song. Yeah, so I went to my computer. And, yeah. and my keyboard and my keyboard and I and I recorded it so that I don't forget yeah and how amazing is that and so can you tell us a little bit about it because I actually wanted you to sing it live but I know the quality was a little bit different yeah, than what I, you I'm expect sorry. I'm sorry yeah but yeah and this happened before too you know Wendy when uh -huh. I several times in my life but 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 the other time that I remember is when I had my second heart attack mm -hmm. and that's when I wrote I listened to my voice. Yes. And that's when I recorded that spiritual. I wrote several songs that came to right. my mind. I even wrote a song for all the, the victims uh, of that tsunami, that great tsunami. It was called Cries of the Sea. Yes. And you remember, I met you, and we really had some good time uh, discussing all this at the bar. <laughs> at Chai's. <laughs> at Chai's. Not, we wasn't drinking. We was drowning our, our, our thoughts in our hearts and meshing at that time. We were bonding. And you wrote the song, and then a few days later, you called me, and you were at the lobby of the Hilton Hawaiian Hotel, and you said, you got to hear this, you got to hear this, and I heard the music from in the car, yeah. okay? I don't know if you remember, but that was like, whoa, and I remember so well, because I'm always so honored when you have these, you know, um, when it comes to your heart, and you, you, you put it to paper and pen, and it's just amazing the gift that you have not only to sing it but to deliver it and so that, uh, it's healthy it's healthy for you it yeah. really to be able to to exude all these this you know this love and this and this thing that you have you cannot keep it in that's why i i always tell the kupunas you know don't take it to your grave oh. share it with our younger generation and with everyone really yes yes, yes. So at this time, if you want to say anything further, otherwise we're going to ask Eric if he can 
uh, play away and let the world hear your song, The Prayers of Hope? No, just go ahead and let them hear what I what God sent to me. The message. All righty. During this pandemic time, especially. All right, go ahead, Eric. Oh, wait, wait, before you do, um, oh. the part where I say your angels are dream, uh, you know, are in other words, um, I'm talking about the first responders when it comes to that verse. So you'll know I want to talk about okay. the angels. Okay, thank you. Thank you. On bended knees I pray With a heart that is dreary Every minute a soul is taken And our strength gets more weary Please pull us through Our whole world is shaken Our prayers are of hope And our hope is through you A hope of healing A hope of forgiveness A hope of no hunger A hope of light A hope of seeing us through In this time of need Dear Lord, hear our prayers Our hope is you Your angels are restless. They're tired and worn. They work every moment. Oh, from dusk till dawn. Our prayers grow stronger. Dear Lord, can you hear us? The days are getting shorter And we wait impatiently A hope for an answer Tell me how this goes. Yes, um, it was. 
Because I think that when I saw the news that, that earlier, you know, you sometimes what you do during the day affects you, yeah? yeah? And it stays with you. And so when I dream, I can't remember what I dreamed. Ugh. But anyway, but all I know is I heard these words and I thought, oh my gosh. So when I got up, I, I wrote it down so that I don't forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I and then I next morning I went straight to my computer. It was like somebody was just guiding me. I don't know. My husband usually my husband gets up before me. Right. But I got up early, very extra early, which is something unheard of. <laughs> and I went straight to my computer, put everything on, put my keyboard. I said, I better record it and the, so that I don't forget the tune. And my fingers just went and I just started to sing it. And and then I then in my regular recording. I put the Lord's Prayer in between. Right. It's much prettier with the, with the final right. recording. Yeah, right. So I, I want to put that out uh, soon. Yeah. yeah. And I think you I think you should uh, put it together and get it out there so the radios can play it, especially right now, Melvin. Yes, what you waiting for? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a prayer of hope. I mean, we need that, and especially in these times, you know, where people are um, a little bit more emotional because it's Christmas and the holidays are here. And, you know, it's just a time, a great time to reflect. And it's a great time to reflect of the past year and then give us hope for what's to come in 2021. Because so many people out there, you know, um, they just need to hear this. And if yeah. it means they're going to cry and shed tears, let us do that because we need to wash away the pain exactly. and, you know, the sadness. So yes. it's a cleansing, it's a healing, and that's why I thought it was so very appropriate to have you on my last show for the year so that you can give us hope. And then the song came, and I thought, it's, it's all Keakua. Yeah. You know, I always tell everyone they got to move and they have to do something, keep themselves busy. When I call some of my friends and they said, I said, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Well, get doing, find a hobby, do something, you know? Yes, yes. Um, you can do something for others if you have to yes yes and just keep busy because you know even even <clears throat> we can be successful at being in isolation so i'll yeah. never say mahalo to covid i'll never say that but yeah. i will say mahalo to isolation because yeah. of isolation it allowed me to find more time to talk to you melvin um it found you more time to share your heart with us and sing to us regularly and now daily. And I know that that's your heart and I know you were doing it before, but now it's even more meaningful because we need to hear that. We need to have that hope. We need to be inspired daily. And, and you know what's nice is that when you call someone, they answer the phone because they're yes. home. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. Yes. yes, and I love that the best. It's like, um, you know, if I want to talk to them on Zoom or I want to meet, drop something off, I go, I, I say, I don't know why I'm going to ask you this, but you, are you at home? And they go, yeah. I say, okay, I'm coming by. Now they cannot run away because where are they going? I they, know. They got to go to a place. And they're always at home. So easy to talk to people. You're absolutely right, Melvin. Yeah. And it's just a blessing. And those are the simple things that we have to realize and appreciate. So yes, mahalo for keeping us at home and save and now you spend more quality time with your husband mike you know and then just doing more things with your hands that god gave you he gave you your health and we continue to work on our health and then you work on everybody else's health by just singing to us yes i know how important that is you know and um every evening i, I try to change my songs so that it wouldn't be monotonous you know mm -hmm. and, and what's nice about it too is because I, I heard from people that I haven't heard from for years. I mean, they kind of come out of the woodwork. Oh, another thing too is I can't be in public as much as I used to before because of my health. Yeah. You know, with, I have leukemia and I'll, I'll tell you that I do. And, and with, I'm very high risk. I cannot be, you know, and my husband had surgery recently, lung mm -hmm. uh, cancer surgery. And so we can't be in, 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 in the midst of, of anybody, you know, so. That's that. and that's you know we we we're kind of used to it and we do this anyway we stay home I know you know and I I love it yeah I know you do I know you have a you've created a, a castle and you and your Mike he's the king and you're the queen of your home with the God, with God <laughs> in there with you but your castle your home is your castle and yeah. you you stay and you appreciate it and and you've done that like you said 
even before this all came about since you know the beginning of the year so it was in preparation for just a time like this and i think um a lot mm -hmm. thank god for amazon and i did my christmas shopping on amazon <laughs> Yeah, and so, you know, you go out, maybe you sneak out once in a great while to go get some supplies and some food. But mm -hmm. other than that, you are homebound and safe. And, you know, um, as you mentioned, uh, not a whole lot of people know about um, your health challenges and, and what Mike went through as well. But Keoku is providing for you. And um, not to get me down at all. Yes. I just keep yes. on, you know. Keep, yes. Keep your head up. Don't slouch, you know, and just... Yes. Be proud that you're alive and happy that you're alive and grateful, grateful that you're alive. That you every morning you you take a breath, you say, Thank you, God. Thank yes. you. What can I do for you today? You know, yes. that's how my day starts. Yes. yes. And that's a blessing. So everyone listening, just listen to Melvin as she sings her love songs, her spirited songs, her Hawaiian songs, her meles, all different genres of music. Her love is coming to you for healing. And as she's helping us to heal, she herself is healing herself. And yeah. so that's the beauty of what this is all about. Everyone working together, bringing aloha to each other, long distance through the Facebook or whatever means of communication we have. But the main thing is that our aloha for each other continues. And you, know, Wendy, you have brought sunshine to my life. I just want you to know that I've never met anyone like you in my whole life. And I'm so glad that you came because you remind me of me in so many. <laughs> I know us guys twins look. We even get the kind of same yes. necklace. Yes. And, and we, we don't both from M place. You know, you're from Molokai. I'm from Miley. And you, know, <laughs> and you and I are both. We cannot stand boredom. You know. Yeah, I know. That's why. You know what? And uh, Mike, you know, if she's playing on her phone, she's playing with me. Okay, don't get jealous. Okay, <laughs> because we can go hours on the phone. Just go. <laughs> and we just buzz on them. You think we retired or something? But we're just making the best of everything we have. And it's the love and friendship that we share and that yes. Melvin shares with all of you and she's singing to you. So just remember that. You're so, making me clear, you know, right now. I really yeah, I'm, so I'm so blessed. We're so blessed. So at this time, I know Melvin, you and I want to wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas. Same to here. everybody out there. God and bless you all. God bless the world and happy birthday, Jesus. Yes, happy birthday, Jesus. And stay healthy and practice social distancing. Wash your hands, wash yes. everything, wipe everything down, you know? Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Wendy. Your mahalo, Melvin. Mahalo, Mike, for sharing, though. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> and mahalo, Eric. Mahalo, Think Tech. And okay. let's bring on 2021 and make it as good as this one just was. was. Are you program next year? Yes. Let's do it again, girl. We're good again, all right? So, aloha, everybody. Aloha, Melvin. Mahalo. Mahalo. Merry Christmas. <laughs>